In 202 BC, the Second Punic War between Rome and Carthage looked to be nearing its conclusion. Despite the stunning successes of the Carthaginian commander, Hannibal, in Italy, the Roman general Scipio had invaded Africa and was threatening Carthage herself. Carthage recalled Hannibal and his army to fight Scipio. Hannibal and Scipio were the two best commanders of their age, neither general having lost a battle before. They would finally meet at Zahn. Scipio's army makes landfall off the coast of Carthage's shores. Reports suggest his army to be 35,000 soldiers. Hannibal arrives back to Carthage with an army estimated to be around 40,000 soldiers. Hannibal and Scipio finally meet on the battlefield. Scipio is able to bring experienced legionaries to the battle. Hannibal, meanwhile, is forced to rely mostly on mercenaries and fresh recruits, keeping his most elite troops in reserve. With his Numidian allies, Scipio has a cavalry advantage over Hannibal's horsemen. Yet Hannibal still has his war elephants. The Romans must find a way to deal with this threat. The Second Punic War hinges on the result of this battle. Hannibal orders his war elephants to advance on the Romans in an effort to break their ranks and cause fear. In response, Scipio orders the front lines of his legions to narrow their lines, setting up a trap for the approaching elephants. So brave warriors, to our work! The legions begin throwing their pilums, and with the open spaces between the front lines allowing the Roman elite's space to fire on the elephants.
The elephants begin routing, the Romans regroup. Hannibal then orders his army to advance on the Romans. The Roman cavalry engage the Carthaginian cavalry on the left flank. With Scipio's Numidian cavalry engaging Hannibal's Iberian cavalry on the right flank. Infantry meet in the center of the battlefield. The Roman cavalry are winning the fight on the left flank, with numbers in their favor. The Numidian cavalry take the right flank and send the Iberian cavalry fleeing from the battlefield. While on the right flank the Carthaginian cavalry have been beaten by the larger Roman cavalry force. Roman and Numidian cavalry pursue the remaining Carthaginian cavalry from the battlefield. Scipio's Numidians now move into the center of the battlefield to assault Hannibal's infantry.
With most of Carthage's cavalry routed from the battlefield the Roman and Numidian cavalry returned to the battlefield attempting to flank Hannibal's army. Though Hannibal has left his heavy veteran spearmen at the rear of his force to discourage the Roman cavalry from flanking or engaging. Hannibal and his bodyguards are attacked by Roman cavalry. Hannibal's bodyguards safely escort him from the battlefield, leaving Carthage's army without their general and leader. Both armies are at a standstill on the main line with heavy casualties being sustained on both ends. The Carthaginian veterans at the back advance forward to support the main line, giving the Roman and Numidian cavalry an opportunity to flank and rear charge. The charges are devastating, causing panic and fear throughout Carthage's army.
What's left of Carthage's army flees from the battlefield, Scipio is victorious. Hannibal has suffered his first defeat at the hands of the Romans. The Battle of Zama would see an end to the Second Punic War, and an end to Hannibal's reign as Carthage's general. <laughs>